Jambo, hola, Ayri, aloha. Once upon a time, Anansi the spider was the son of Nyame, the African creator of all things. But when Anansi was a little boy, he was always getting into trouble. Mm -hmm. He would be real tricky and he was full of mischief and greed and foolishness. So Nyame, his papa, turned Anansi into a spider and sent him down to earth. Well, Anansi, he became the go-between the people on the earth and Nyame, his father who lived way up in the sky. Well, Anansi is tricky. And what I want to do, but he, he, not only is he tricky, he's funny and he's greedy and he loves to get his way. Does he sound like somebody you know? Well, I want you to listen closely as I share with you a few of Anansi's stories from Ghana, West Africa. I hope you will enjoy being caught up in Anansi's web. One thing about Anansi is when he traveled all over the world, he had to learn how to say hi, hi, hello in different languages. So this song I'm going to sing to you about Anansi is going to say hi, hi, hi in different languages. Can you put your fingers together like this, your two thumbs? That's Anansi's head. And Anansi has how many legs? He has eight legs, All right? So we're going to sing a song about Anansi and you're going to learn how to say hello in many languages. Are you ready? Let's go. Come on and dance. Don't be shy, dance with Auntie Oni. Jumbo and Nancy, hi, hi, hi. Irie, Irie, Irie and Nancy, hi, hi, hi. Hola, 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 Nancy, hi, hi, hi. Aloha, 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 and Nancy, hi, hi, hi. So many stories of Kwaku, a Nancy, a Shanti Spider Man. Anansi stories are wise and silly. We tell them all over the land. Anansi lives by his wits, bragging he'll pass any test. Anansi is clever and tricky too, but he always tries his best. Jambo, 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 Anansi, hi, hi, hi. Hi, aloha, hola, Anansi, hi, hi, hi. Hola, 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 Anansi. Aloha, 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 Anansi, hi, hi, hi. Anansi wanted all the wisdom, but learned he had to share. Anansi wanted stories in his name. Now Anansi's stories are everywhere. Anansi's stories teach us how to always play fair. Anansi's stories tell us how to love one another with care. Jambo, 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 Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Irie, 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 Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Hola, 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 Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Aloha, 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 Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Konnichiwa, 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 Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. So long, so long, so long, Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Namaste, 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 Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Bonjour, 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 Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Ciao, 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 Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Shalom, 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 Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Guten Tag, guten Tag, guten Tag, Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao, Anansi. Hi, hi, hi. Kaya, 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 
Ja, Nancy. Hi, hi, hi. Hola, 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 Nancy. Hi, hi, hi. Well, you see a Nancy here. This is a little Nancy. And this is what a Nancy looks like. And do you notice that a Nancy has a little teeny tiny waist? Do you notice? Oh, yes. He has a teeny tiny waist right here. You see his waistline? Well, the next story I want to tell you is how a Nancy, how he got that teeny tiny waist. You see, one bright sunny day in Anansi's village, his neighbors were planning an international food festival. Well, Anansi, he doesn't like to do any work. He didn't want to stick around and help prepare food or set up tables, nah, nah, nah. He never ever liked to work very hard. So he decided that he would run off to the river to take a bath. That way he wouldn't be around to help out. So Anansi, he quickly scattered out of his web house. But Mama Lion, she saw Anansi. Anansi, Anansi, Jumbo Anansi, Jumbo. Are you coming to our international food festival? I am cooking up African food. Oh yes, jollof rice, pounded potato leaves, fufu, yams, and peanut stew. You must come, Anansi. Well, Anansi, he smiled. <laughs> oh, well, oh, mom. Oh, thank you, Mama Lion, thank you. Uh, that sounds very, very tasty. But, but I'm busy. I, I, you see, I'm going down to the river to take a bath. Uh, but I have an idea. I will spin a web string out of my belly button, tie it around my waist, and give you the other end of the web string. And then when the African food is ready, you put on the web string, and I will come running and bring my appetite. Hmm. Oh. Well, Mama Lion, she agreed. She wasn't too happy about it, but it was done. And Anansi scattered off. Then Anansi stopped in his tracks. Mmm, I sure do smell something real tasty. Mmm, what is that? He was passing by Mr. Jose's house. Mr. Jose, he caught Anansi too, and he called out to Anansi. Hola, Anansi, hola. Hola, you're smelling my delicious Mexican food, you know, Anansi. You know, I am going to be cooking up some delicious food for the festival. I will be cooking enchiladas, burritos, tacos, rice and beans. Ah, oh, plenty of malta, you know, Anansi, and flan for dessert. Y'all want to come help me prepare, Nancy? Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Joshe. But, but, oh, my mouth is watering too, but, but, uh, right now I'm busy. I'm on my way to the river to take a bath. Uh, but I have an idea. I will spin a web string out of my belly button, tie it around my waist, and you hold on to the other end of the web string. And when your Mexican food is ready, I will come in and I will bring my empty belly. How about that? <laughs> oh, Mr. Jose, he didn't like Anansi's idea that much. But he thought, hmm, well, someone has to come and eat the food. So it was done and Anansi scattered away. Just then, Brother Rabbit, he came out of his house and he almost tripped over Anansi. Hey, watch yourself. Hey Anansi, what's the rush, bro? Don't you know we having an international food festival today, man? I'm cooking up some American food. I'm making some turkey burgers some hot dogs, mm -hmm, french fries and pizza and apple pie. I 
could use your help to set up with the tables and the chairs, dude. Anansi grinned. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Brother Rabbit. But, 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 but I'm busy now. Maybe later on, okay? Because uh, I'm on my way to the river to bathe. But I have an idea. I will spin a web string from my belly button, tie it around my waist, and you hold on the other end of the web string. And then when your American food is ready, you just pull on that web string and I will come and bring my empty belly. <laughs> oh, Brother Rabbit figured someone had to come. So hmm, he wasn't going to be cooking all this food for himself. So he agreed and it was done. And Anansi scattered off. The last house Anansi tried to sneak by was Sister Cheetah. But Sister Cheetah was peeking out of her kitchen window and she saw Anansi. And she said, Ni hao, Anansi, ni hao. Where you going? Don't you know we are having an international food festival today? And I, my pots are bubbling up in the kitchen and I'm cooking some Chinese food. Oh yes, Anansi, I'm going to make some fried rice, some lo mein, some mugu gai pan, some egg roll and fortune cookies and tea. Can you help me set up the tables, Anansi? <laughs> well, well, that sounds wonderful, Sister Cheetah. Uh, but but I'm sorry to say that that I'm on my way to take a bath. But but I have an idea. <laughs> I will spin a web string from my belly button, tie it around my waist, and, and you hold on to the other end of the web string. And, and, and when the food is ready, I will come and bring my empty belly. Sister Cheetah wasn't very happy with a Nazi. But she agreed. And so it was done. Anansi finally made it to the river. And after a nice cool bath, he lay down under the coconut tree. And he was dreaming about all that delicious food he was going to eat up. The African food. Mm. The Mexican food, yummy. The American food, oh, and the Chinese food, yummy, yummy, yummy. He was dreaming he would taste all that delicious food without having to do any work at all. Suddenly, Anansi felt a strong pull on his waist. It woke him up. Then he felt another pull, <gasps> then another, then another. <gasps> Mama Lion's African food was ready and she was pulling on the web string for Anansi and Anansi got pulled to the right. Mr. Joe Faye's Mexican food was ready and he was pulling on the web string for Anansi to the left. <gasps> Rudder right Rabbit's American food was ready and he was pulling on Anansi's web string to the front. Oh, oh, Sister Cheetah's Chinese food was ready and she was pulling on Anansi's web string to the back. And Anansi was being pulled at the very same time by everyone to the right, to the left, to the front, to the back, to the right, to the left, to the front, to the back, to the right, to the left, to the front, to the back, until pop, 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 all the strings broke. <gasps> Anansi's waist was pulled so tight. It was tiny, 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 tinier than a hole in a honey nut Cheerio. <gasps> oh, Anansi's tummy was hurting him. <gasps> He was so worn out, his belly hurt him from hunger. Oh, he scattered back slowly to the village. His little waist was so small. And to his surprise, 
the International Food Festival was over. Finish. Mama Lion's African food was gone. Brother Jose's Mexican food was all gone. Brother Rabbit's American food was all gone. Sister Cheetah's Chinese food was all gone. When Nancy was hungry and weak and tired, and he had a skinny, skinny waist. And he learned an important lesson that day, that it is never a good idea to be too lazy or too greedy, because if he had stayed around to help out, he would have been first in line to get to taste all that delicious food. But he only thought of himself and not helping others. And that is why to this very day, Anansi and all of his spider family have a little teeny waist, just like this. So, what did you learn from that story? That we should always help out and help one another, right? Right, and not be greedy. Now, do you know what wisdom is? Wisdom is when you know things. Es cuando nosotros sabemos cosas. Sabiduría es cuando lees un libro en tu biblioteca. Es donde tú ganas toda esta sabiduría. En la siguiente historia de Nancy, les voy a contar cómo y por qué a Nancy tenía que compartir la sabiduría con todo. You see, it was very late in the morning. And Kwaku Anansi was very hungry. He was sitting huh, and listening to his belly growl. It was growling so loud. Oh, he looked over at his wife, Crookie, and she was feeding the children some plantain, roasted plantain. Oh. Crookie looked over at her husband, Anansi, and said, here, Anansi, this is for you. She handed Anansi a nice piece of plantain. Thank you, wifey, thank you so much. Well, Crookie said to Anansi, Anansi, this is the last of our food. Will you please find us something to eat for dinner? Well, Anansi thought to himself, Hmm. Wow, I need to figure out how I can maybe catch some mosquitoes. <laughs> That's Crookie's favorite. And how I can catch enough for my whole family. So Anansi thought harder and harder. And he kept thinking till he gave up. Hmm, maybe I need some wisdom. If I had wisdom, I could find out how I can catch a whole heap of mosquitoes. But you know, mosquitoes are very clever. They're not easy to catch. They fly fast and no one has caught a mosquito before they bit you. <laughs> Have you ever caught a mosquito before they bit you? So Anansi decided that he needed to get some wisdom if he was going to catch enough mosquitoes for dinner. Mm. So a Nazi thought, well, maybe I'll go visit my friends in the forest and see if they can give me some wisdom. A Nazi scattered out through the village into the forest and boom, he bumped into a calabash, <gasps> a bowl, a bowl like this. A human must have dropped the bowl in the forest. It was a beautiful wooden bowl, carved, just like this one. So Anansi put his web string through the bowl and he carried it out with him. And he dragged it along as he went to see his friend, Brother Owl. Well, you know, Brother Owl, huh? He doesn't come out in the daytime. Brother Owl only comes out at night. 
So Anansi had to shout really, really loud. Good morning, Brother Al. Good morning. Uh, uh, please wake up. I have an emergency. Please wake up, Brother Al. Oh, Brother Al. Oh, oh. Is that you, Anansi? Yeah, yes, it's me, Brother Al. It's me, your good buddy. <laughs> My brother Al, he was still kind to Anansi, even though Anansi had woke him up. Oh, yes, Anansi. What can I do for you, my friend? Brother Al, uh, can you spare some wisdom? I, I, I may not know much, but I know it take a lot of wisdom for me to figure out how I'm going to catch all the mosquitoes for dinner. And, and, and I know you're very wise, brother Al. So uh, could you please uh, spare some of your wisdom with me, please, please? <sighs> Brother Al looked down at Anansi. Sure, Anansi, I will give you some, but not all. I need to rest for myself. As you know, I am very wise. Hmm. So I need to keep some for myself, okay? Sure, sure, I know you know for being very wise, Brother Al. That's why I came to you, my friend. <laughs> so Brother Al, he dropped a handful of wisdom into Anansi's calabash. Thank you, Brother Al, thank you. <laughs> and Anansi ran off. But when Anansi looked into the calabash, it was just a little bit of wisdom wasn't even half full. So he decided he was going to run off and see Mr. Monkey. Mr. Monkey was in the middle of his exercise program and he was swinging from tree to tree and he was singing e -a -ooh -a -a, e -a, walla walla bing bang, e -e -ooh -a -a, we ring ring walla walla bing bang. Nancy called out to Mr. Monkey. Hey, Mr. Monkey. Uh, brother, brother Al told me that you were wiser than him, you know, and you have a lot of wisdom. Can you give me some wisdom? Mr. Monkey answered Anansi, uh, <laughs> Sure, Anansi, I, I have plenty of wisdom right here. Uh, <laughs> I have some to spare, sure. And Mr. Monkey dug into a bunch of bananas. Anansi doesn't like bananas. And he dropped a handful of wisdom into a Nazi's calabash. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Monkey, thank you. You are so generous. And a Nazi ran off. But when a Nazi looked into the calabash, hmm, this isn't even half full. I need more wisdom than this. Yeah. Whew, Anansi scattered further into the forest. And there, there was Elder Elephant. Elder Elephant was eating all the leaves off the tree. And being an elder, very old, Anansi knew that Elder Elephant would have plenty of wisdom to spare. Because when you're old, you're wise. Hola, hola, Brother Elephant, hola. Uh, uh, Brother Elephant, uh, I'm, I'm collecting wisdom today from all my wise friends, and I know you're one of them. And um, I, I was wondering, do you have any wisdom you can spare for me, Brother Elephant, please? Oh, Elder Elephant, he was so fed up with Anansi. But he was happy that Anansi knew how wise he was. So he lifted up his great big nose and he shook snot. Nope, 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 it wasn't snot. It wasn't snot, no, it was wisdom. Into a Nazi's calabash. Ooh, ooh, wow. A Nazi looked into the calabash and it was filled with wisdom. Thank you, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, the elephant. Thank you so much, you're so generous. Now my calabash is full of wisdom. Thank you very much. Yeah. Woo. Oh, Nancy ran off with his calabash full of wisdom. 
to the nearest tree. And he thought to himself, I better hide all this wisdom so no one will take it from me. And Nancy looked up at the tall tree. Hmm. I'm going to take this calabash full of wisdom. Llena de sabiduría y me la voy a poner acá arriba y la voy a esconder en la parte de hasta arriba del árbol. Es lo que voy a hacer. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, and he put it around his neck and he held the calabash right here. Hmm. Yes, I'm going to take this wisdom up to the tree and hide it from everybody. Well, Anansi put out his arms. Yeah. And his little fingers and his feet, his eight legs, and he dug it into the tree and he went to climb up the tree, but he fell back down. And then he tried again. I went to climb up the tree and he fell back down. <clears throat> and he tried again. I went to climb up the tree and he fell back down. <clears throat> and he sat at the bottom of the tree and he started to cry. <laughs> then he said, I'm going to stop crying and I'm going to keep on trying. And he tried again, 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 and he fell back down. Just then, Anansi's little daughter, Cushion, she walked by and she saw her father there so sad. Papa, why are you so sad? What are you doing, Papa? Well, uh, uh, I, I, I'm trying to take something up to the top of the tree, okay? Uh, 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 you know, I, 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 I'm trying to take something up to the top of the tree and I can't get it up there. Well, Papa, why don't you turn the calabash to your back and that way you can climb up the tree easily, just like a backpack. Anansi, he shook his head. He wasn't too happy about that. All right, all right. Now you go on and play. You go on and play. I don't need you to tell me what to do. You're just a little girl. I can handle this myself. So Cushion ran off to play with her brothers and sisters. And what do you think Anansi did? That's right. Anansi took the calabash and he turned it around. Is she looking? I gotta make sure nobody's watching. <laughs> and he took it and he put it on his back, just like that. Oh, yeah. Well, he put the calabash on his back and he took his four, his eight eight legs, <laughs> he took his eight legs and he grabbed into the tree and he started climbing and climbing and climbing up and climbing up and climbing up till he got to the top of the tree. Oh, this is wonderful, I'm at the top of the tree. Well, then Anansi thought, but we, I supposed to have all this wisdom and it turns out my little girl is wiser than me. Maybe this wisdom won't do me any good after all. <laughs> if a little girl had to tell me how to climb up to the top of the tree, then I ain't that wise after all. I don't need this wisdom. And do you know what he did? He took the calabash and he flung it out. And when he flung it out into the sky, the wind came by and took up the wisdom into the air and scattered it all around the world. And it ended up being, guess where? The wisdom ended up in a book, in the library. And it was there for all the boys and girls to read in a book and to gain wisdom. So a Nazi, he came out of that tree and he ran home to Crookie and his children. And he told them, come, come, help me, help me, help me spin a web. And they spun a web, a big, big giant web between two trees. And when night fell, the mosquitoes came out. And they didn't even see a Nazi's 
big web and they flew right into the web and got stuck. And Nancy and his family came out and enjoyed a big dinner of mosquitoes. They relaxed after they ate that big dinner. Mm. And Anansi said to Crookie and his children, you know, true wisdom is when you don't keep it all to yourself. True wisdom is when you share it with everybody. Jambo, 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 Anansi, hi, hi, hi. Irie, 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 Anansi, hi, hi, hi. Hola, 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 Nancy. Hi, hi, hi. Aloha, 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 Nancy. Hi, hi, hi. Now, Ow. all my beautiful children out there, this is your turn to stand up if you're sitting down. And we're going to do something Auntie An Oni likes to call copycat. You ready to be a copycat? Well, you're going to put your hands together and we're going to make a Nazi. We're going to take both of our thumbs and put them together like this. And a Nazi has eight legs, right? And we're going to sing a song together. But I want you to copycat me so when I play the music, you'll be ready to dance and to act out all the parts with Auntie Oni. Are you ready? All right. Now, you know this song. It's the song called Itsy Bitsy. You know Itsy Bitsy Spider? Well, I gave that spider a name and his name is Anansi the Spider. Are you ready? So we're gonna go. Anansi the Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed Anansi out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And Anansi the Spider went up the spout again. Anansi, Anansi, he fell down that day. Anansi, Anansi, what did he say? He said, I'ma stop crying. Mm, 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 and I'ma keep on trying. Uh, uh, uh. Just like he did when he was trying to hide the wisdom up in the tree. Are you ready? All right, so I'm gonna play the music and we're gonna sing this about four times. And I just want you to have a good time with it with Auntie Oni and you can act it out, copycat and with Auntie Oni. And I know you know the song and sing along. Come on. Hear the music? Come on and dance. Don't be shy. Nancy the spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the Nazi out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And Nancy the spider went up the spout again. A Nazi, a Nazi, he fell down that day. A Nazi, a Nazi, what did he say? He said, I'ma stop crying and I'ma keep on trying. He said, I'ma stop crying and I'ma keep on trying. So a Nazi, the spider, ran up the water spout down came the rain and washed the nazi out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and anansi the spider went up the spout again come on anansi anansi he fell down that day a Nazi, a Nazi, what did he say? He said, I'ma stop crying and I'ma keep on trying. He said, I'ma stop crying and I'ma keep on trying. Again, come on. Nazi the spider went up the water spider. Down came the rain. The spider went up the spout again. A 
Nazi, a Nazi. He fell down that day. A Nazi, a Nazi. What did he say? I'ma stop crying. And I'ma keep on trying. He said, I'ma stop crying. And I'ma keep on trying. One more time. So I not see the spider. Come on, dance. Went up the water spout. Down came the rain. And washed a Nazi out. Out came the sun. And dried up all the rain. And I not see the spider. Went up the spout again. A Nazi, a Nazi, he fell down that day. A Nazi, a Nazi, what did he say? I'ma stop crying, and I'ma keep on trying. He said, I'ma stop crying, and I'ma keep on trying. One more time, Nancy the Spider went up to all the spot. Down came the rain and washed the Nazi out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And Nancy the Spider went up the spout again. Oh, a Nazi went up the spout again. Have you ever wanted to do something so bad and you kept trying and trying like a Nazi and you almost give up and you start to cry and get so upset? You mustn't do that. You must keep trying because keep trying will help you accomplish what you're trying to do for sure. Don't give up. Be like a Nazi. Well, you know, a Nazi has six children. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you count to six? One, two, three, four, five, six. And each of Anansi's children had a special name because they had a special talent. Do you have a special talent? Do you like to dance? Do you like to sing? Do you like math? Do you like English? Do you like speaking Spanish? Are you good at that? Then that is your special talent. Well, Anansi's children, they loved Papa Anansi so much and Mama Crookie too. Well, the name of Anansi's first child was Sea Trouble. And Sea Trouble could see trouble a long way off. And he could even see through things. That's how good his eyes were. Anansi's second child, her name was Road Builder because she could build roadways through the bush where there was no road. She could use the stones and the sticks on the tree branches and she could make a road where there was none, as they say, a way out of no way. Anansi's third child was River Drinker. And he was named River Drinker because he could drink lots and lots of water out of the river. And he could hold it in his belly for a long time. And he could let go of the water when it was time to water the garden during a drought when there was no rain. Anansi's fourth child, her name was Game Skinner. And her name was Game Skinner because she had long fingernails and she could cut and skin an animal or a fish, just like a knife. Anansi's fifth child's name was Stone Thrower. Oh, he could throw stones far, far away, and he would always hit his target. A Nazi's sixth child was Cushion. Cushion, she was the one who told a Nazi how to carry the calabash up the tree. Not only was she wise, but she was very soft and fluffy. All six children of a Nazi were good children. 
and they loved their mama and their papa Nazi. So, but one day, Papa Nazi decided he was going to go out and hunt for food for his family. And so he scattered out early in the morning while everyone was still asleep. Well, Papa Nazi decided he would take a new way to get to a different river. He wanted to explore and be an adventurer and just have a change of scenery. So he traveled out through the bush. And then he went down into the valley and he went over the hill and he went over a mountain and he scattered, scattered, scattered until he found himself by a strange river. Anansi fell into trouble. Well, back at home, everybody woke up and they realized that Papa Anansi wasn't in the house. They didn't know where he had gone. Mama Crookie called out, where is Papa Anansi? Where is Papa Anansi? See trouble, Anansi's son. He could see that his father was in danger. And he said, oh no, oh no, Papa Anansi is in danger. I can see Papa Anansi is in big trouble. Oh no. So all the children gathered together and they decided they would go look for Papa Nancy. Mama, Mama, you must stay home. You must stay here. We will find Papa. Stay here with our friends. So they got together and Road Builder, she looked down on the ground and she noticed there were some markings on the ground where Papa Nancy's eight little legs left an imprint. And Road Builder, she built the road with the stones and with the branches and she made a road and it led through the bush, down in the valley, over the hill, over a mountain until they reached the strange river. And when Road Builder got to the strange river, her brothers and sisters were behind her. And see trouble, he looked into the river. Hey, I see, I see Papa Anansi. Papa Anansi is in the belly of the big fish in the river. <gasps> river drinker, he stepped forward and he sucked up all the water out of the river. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And oh, when he sucked all the water out of the river, ah. Oh, there was a big fish in the riverbed. Sea Trouble looked again. Papa Nancy is in the belly of the big fish. Gain Skinner, she came with her long nails and she cut open the fish and out popped Papa Nancy. Just then a huge bird, a falcon came down from the sky and he grabbed Papa Nazi in his mouth. The bird was going to eat Papa Nazi and he flew off. But stone thrower, stone thrower, he picked up the stone and he threw and hit the bird on his head and his mouth dropped open. Oh, and he let go Papa Nazi and Nazi started falling from the sky and he was going towards the rocks. Oh, the rocks suddenly cushion, cushion. She laid her body over the rock and Papa Nazi fell onto cushion, safe and sound. Oh, everyone was so happy that Papa Nazi wasn't hurt. Ah, oh, they picked Papa Nazi up and carried him home on their backs together through the mount, through over the mountain, over the hills, through the valley, through the bush till they reached the village. And there was Mama Crookie and all the neighbors. And they were so happy to see Papa Anansi was home safe and sound. Oh, the neighbors went to their kitchens and they cooked up food. And everyone announced that Papa Anansi was back home and we are going to have a big party. Yes, we're going to celebrate. Oh, they had a big party and they celebrated all that evening.
till the night came and everyone went to sleep except Papa Nancy. He couldn't go to sleep. And he went outside in the dark and he wanted to thank his father Nyame for his safe return. But as he walked into the forest and he looked through the bush, he saw a great golden beautiful ball of light shining through the leaves of the bushes. Anansi thought, oh, what a mysterious and beautiful thing. I shall give it to my children. This is a wonderful gift. I will give it to the one who rescued me. But a Nazi, he couldn't decide which child he would give it to. Which one deserved the prize? Who do you think deserved the big, beautiful, golden, shining ball? Was it sea trouble? Well, he did see that Anansi was in trouble. Was it road builder? She did build that road for Anansi's children to follow and find him. Was it river drinker? Oh, river drinker. He was able to drink all the water out the river. And so the fish was right there. Oh. Or was it Game Skinner? She had the long nails to cut open the fish so Anansi could pop out. Or was it Stone Thrower? Stone Thrower. He hit the bird right in his head and the bird dropped Anansi. That bird would have ate Anansi up. Or was it cushion? Ah, oh, Anansi was falling and falling and falling. He would have hit the rocks and died and got hurt really, really bad. But cushion, she was there and he landed safely. Well, Anansi, he couldn't decide which child deserved this beautiful golden ball. So he asked Nyame, his father, Nyame, Nyame, can you help me please? Please tell me who I should get this great beautiful golden ball to. Which one of my children deserves this for saving my life? Well, Anansi and Nyame, they couldn't decide which child deserved the ball. So they argued all night. Well, Nyame, he lived up in the sky. And so he reached down finally, and he reached down and he picked up that big, golden, beautiful ball, and he just flung it up into the sky. And he put it up there to stay as a gift for everyone and it would always be there. It is there tonight. Before you go to bed, you look out your window and you will see that beautiful golden ball hanging up there in the sky as a gift for everyone to enjoy. Thanks to Papa Nancy, his six children, and yame. Jambo, 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 Nancy. Bye, bye, bye. Irie, 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 Nancy. Bye, bye, bye. Hola, 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 Nancy. Bye, bye, bye. Aloha, 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 Nancy. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the Anansi stories.
If you want to see more Nazi stories, you can just go to the library when you can go to the library, but you can find books about a Nazi at the library. And also the library will have it on the Facebook channel and you can listen again to Auntie Oni. My website is auntie, A-U-N-T-I-O-N-I dot F-U-N, fun.